Hello, my name is Nikolai Mikhailov. I'm the leader of the Cognitive Internet Research Project, Mero Labs Company. And now I'd like to present to your attention our new universal framework for machine to machine communications. We call our framework Ubiquitous Plug and Play. We have built several applications which run on top of this framework and allows uh, to establish different kind of interoperation between devices in the machine to machine mode. And uh, I'll show you one of these applications, which is called Voice Pilot. Voice Pilot allows to use gadgets, user gadgets such as smartphones, for example, allows to use them as remote controls for different kinds of multimedia boxes, which have networking capabilities. Here we have Android TV box. Both of these gadgets uh, have Android operating system installed on them, and uh, we have installed uh, ubiquitous plug and play framework into both of these devices. And we have a voice pilot application which runs on top of this of our framework into multimedia box and uh, on this smartphone. And now I'll show you how users can use uh, voice pilot to enter text data into multimedia box when it is needed. Let's start, for example, with the application of YouTube. Let's suppose that the user wants to uh, find different kind of video into in YouTube. And uh, we start YouTube and we proceed with the searching. And as soon as we need to enter some text, search text, we can see that uh, Multimedia Box tries to discover available ubiquitous plug and play devices into, within the network and uh, discovers that Nexus has devices available. It is our smartphone. And when we choose our smartphone to be a remote terminal for our multimedia box, these gadgets negotiate with each other and establish dynamic operation. And as soon as the dynamic operation is established, we can see here user interface which allows users to input, to input data. Here, for example, we have several options. We can input data by voice input, ice cream sandwich. Okay. Here we can see which, that the text is recognized, and uh, we can see that smartphone uh, have already sent this text into Android box, and we can see it inputted here. When we uh, press a button send data, multimedia box starts to use uh, this inputted data as a search request in YouTube. And here we can see the results of ice cream sandwich search. Let's try another search. When we press button, we can see here user interface for input data. Okay, we can input data using native keywords of the smartphone, for example, ice, cream, and uh, as soon as we inputting text data, we can see it synchronously on the screen already, because every inputted, uh, every inputted symbol uh, in real time uh, is sending into the multimedia box and is available uh, for this device. Okay. Send. Reach. Okay. That's right. When we press button, we can see the results here. Also, voice pilot uh, can be used to input data into any applications within the multimedia box. For example, we can use uh, we can use a browser and input data into it. How to talk to policeman? How to talk to policeman? And here we can see this text inputted into the browser into Google search. And when we press send data, we can see 
the search results of the search how to talk to policemen. Also, we can use uh, voice pilot capabilities to enter different kind of addresses. For example, let's type www.mira labs and we can see that when we entering the text it is already here onto onto multimedia box multimedia mira labs dot com okay here it is and uh, when we press send data we are going to miralabs.com, which is website of our company. And uh, as we can, as we have already seen, uh, Voice Pilot allows to enter text data by voice and allows to use native keyboards with uh, native localization on the languages of native speakers using this smartphone, and allows to send this text data into multimedia books. Also, we have working now uh, on the mouse functionality, which uh, allows us to use a voice pilot to use a touch screen, touch screen of this uh, gadget as a mouse for as a mouse control for multimedia books. But this functionality is not presented here. It will be available very soon. And so, uh, when this functionality will be available in this box, uh, there will be no need for native remote control. We can put it here and use just only your gadget to fully control your box, to input data into your box and uh, to use your touchscreen as a mouse uh, for you to navigate uh, through the user interface in your books. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention.